The Valdosta State College Student Union houses the campus's non-commercial radio station, WVVS, the voice of Valdosta State. Located in the West End on the second floor, the studio, like all college radio stations, houses the needed equipment to inject a dose of fun into the stuffy, everyday world of commercial radio. In other words, giving Valdosta an alternative. 91 VVS, the alternative. At the touch of a button, WVVS comes to life. WVVS was founded in 1971 to be a student-run organization providing training and a stepping stone into the world of radio. WVVS has an impressive record of breaking new ground, being the first station to use compact discs in the South Georgia, North Florida area, playing new music from the cutting edge, and programming the shows and information that commercial radio stations won't. WVVS can become your training ground in the general workings of a radio station. The air personalities can tell you that radio is more than just spinning records and talking. It involves serious responsibilities as well, including the maintenance of Federal Communications Commission-related logs, running emergency broadcast system tests, following a program format, playing special programming, and learning production techniques. To become a part of VVS, a student must sign up for TEL 261B. It gives the student one academic credit hour and will not detract from class time. Hours at WVVS are flexible to accommodate the student's schedule. To receive a satisfactory grade in the course, the student must attend scheduled training sessions, show up for all scheduled meetings, perform all scheduled air shifts, correctly attend to all logs, passing administered tests, and following all guidelines in the WVVS handbook. Once a student receives full training, he will be qualified to run complete air shifts by himself and learn all about WVVS's format. WVVS is a college progressive station playing new artists that just don't get a chance to be heard on regular commercial radio. Not only does VVS focus on the new music, but prides itself on still programming the classic songs from the early days of rock. All this is kept in order by following a clock format that will be explained in detail during training. The only requirement a student will need is an open mind about unknown music. The results are often surprisingly satisfying. After a quarter or two of good work with VBS, there is the possibility of moving up. There are numerous special shows run by students that have acquired a tremendous following and could sometimes use a new host. Highlighted music shows deal with jazz, alternative, metal, urban contemporary, all requests, contemporary Christian, and more. WVVS has also developed a weekly lineup of the best air personalities who work up to five days a week at a prime listening time. These students gain a following of their own by having regular listeners. The biggest accomplishment a student can make is earning a staff position and running the station itself. Students hold the five positions of general manager, operations manager, program director, music director, and traffic director. These five are responsible for making sure that WVVS runs smoothly and continues to sound great. All positions receive a small monthly paycheck, and assistantships are offered for those interested in moving into the position when the current holder leaves it. WVVS is not just loads of work, though. Annual festivals such as Mayhem, an outdoor festival that celebrates VVS's conversion to stereo in 1984, and anniversary parties give VVS workers and their audience a chance to relax and have a lot of fun. WVVS also works with promoting events, local bands, and fundraisers in the Valdosta area. So join the WVVS team and literally have a voice in your campus radio station. Sign up for TEL 261D because if you don't, 